What's up? Yo. Hello. Sip yo What's up, everybody? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Sup Yolo. Today, I'm super excited to bring you Brendan Patrick, a blind artist. And Brendan, when did you start doing art? I've been been an artist my whole life, and I was actually my previous life a tattoo artist, but okay. it doesn't really go so well these days. You know, not yeah, too many yeah. people want a blind tattoo. Once I lost my vision, it took me a minute to figure things out, and I'm back to painting. Brendan, can we hear a little bit about your story? Yeah, um, I'm blind and I make terrible art. <laughs> <laughs> where, else, where else do you want to go with this? <laughs> so, I, actually, I was thinking of a, okay. a concept yeah. earlier that was kind of interesting is that when you don't get to see your art, um, usually like one of the artist's biggest things is, oh, I'm not happy with that piece of art yet. Oh, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. But with you, I feel like it could all be good enough. You know, it's, it's all <laughs> Well, I think that was Mona Lisa, <laughs> right? I think that was an interesting point when I first started painting again after losing my vision, right. um, because you know I'm not staring at my piece days after I, you know, think that I've finished it and going back and throwing some details. But, you know, when I'm done with the process, I'm done. You know, it's it's just time to move on to the next, and it's it's more about letting my art go and releasing it, and it, it's also really helped me just kind of, uh, I basically become a painting factory. <laughs> but no, it's really good um, to where I don't hold on to what I think it has. But with that being said, I feel as if my art's definitely progressed throughout the years, and I feel like I've, I've definitely been able to create more detailed um, images on my canvases. Um, a thing that I've been doing lately is picking up toys and actually feeling the dimensions of the toy and uh, applying the dimensions onto the canvas and trying to That's recreate it. Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I've never seen it. So, yeah. <laughs> so but, but no, I've been doing like an R2D2 and I did Which was so much more. That was just yeah. freaking awesome. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. Yes. Thank you. I'll have one of my assistants grab it off the wall for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, um, so yeah, that's been a new thing and that's really kind of taken my art to a new level for me and just, uh, so yeah, a lot of it's pretty nerdy, like Star Wars stuff. How do you determine what you're going to pick? Well, that's a good question. I feel that's the hardest part for me actually is just coming up with concepts. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the execution is easy. It's the concepts that are hard. And execution is the easy. Oh, yeah. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I think really just a lot of meditating and um, just trying to trying to open up my mind and kind of find that relaxing state and let my imagination open up and try to pull images out of my head. You know, I, I had mentioned that I lost my vision at 26, so I, I had a lot of time to see. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I still have like a backlog of a whole catalog of movies embedded in my brain. And, you know, I, I was really into old monster movies and it, that played, it plays a huge influence in my work. Um, so I kind of pull like that and also I'm a 90s kid, you know, a lot of Double Dare and a lot of uh, Garbage Pail Kids, very okay, yeah. lime green, um, uh, very slime kind of uh, inspiration, I suppose, that has really played in my work. So awesome. I feel like I, I pull influences here and there and I play in a punk rock band, so a lot of like punk rock artwork on their covers of albums that, that's definitely played a big influence on me too. What do you play in the rock band? Well, I attempt to play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, you know, the real trouble is just trying not to fall off stage. Um, okay. It's not even about really playing bands, it's just not falling off stage. <laughs> So yeah, I, um, I play uh, in a band called The Wretched Sites, and we uh, we just put out a 7-inch a few months ago called Heathen Help Us, so not to do a shameless plug, but I just did. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, we, uh, we're working on a new record, so it's awesome. pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of projects going on, and also, we didn't mention, I have a podcast. Oh, that's right. Oh, no one, it's called No One Is Happy, and uh, we're actually going to be doing uh, playing at the Blind Sided Show. Awesome. Play? Playing? I don't know how you play. Broadcast. Broadcast. We're going to be... Oh, that sounds really nice. Thank you. We're going to be broadcasting live, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be interviewing these guys. And, yeah, it's going to be fun. Where's your podcast, sir? Oh, pardon me? How do you find your podcast? 
the internet. On the internet. Yeah, we'll it works. Yeah, it's just on SoundCloud right now. We're trying awesome. to get it on all the platforms like a responsible podcast host does. Totally. So, yeah. <laughs> um, how do you, when it comes to painting and the actual physical yeah. doing it, how do you know the difference between colors? The execution of it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how do you execute it? Well, let me let me back it up a little bit. All right. So I I use a puffy paint, and it's it's a paint intended for T-shirts. Okay. Um, typically, what children we use. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I I do an outline of whatever design I want on my canvas, and I let that dry. And I have all my paints brailled out. Uh, and I have an assistant that I work with, and she I make her do all my hard labor. Yeah. I make her braille everything. Yeah. So, <laughs> Um, so yeah, once I figure out what they, what colors they are, have them brailled out, and once my paint, my puffy paint is all dried out, it's basically a coloring book at that point. Try to stay in between the lines. So. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> so when did you become blind, and how did that happen? It was 2008. Um, I I have cystic fibrosis, and uh, I had a double lung transplant, and you know, stuff happens, complications. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, but. It's cool, you know. I'm, you know, a lot of it's just working through and trying to keep myself busy. Yeah. And then, you know, that's why I take on so many projects. <laughs> that's a lot of time on my hands. How do you keep yourself in a positive light? Um, a lot of, a lot of positivity. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it really, it really is my creative outlets that awesome. have really helped me move along. Well, I heard that there's actually a documentary being filmed. There it is. It's called Can't See Shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. It was my idea. <laughs> um, yeah, we've been filming for the past five and a half years, and I just have big news. It's going to be done by the beginning of next year. So. Yeah. Oh, oh congratulations. congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> no, I can't either. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting. It's been a long time in the making, and yeah, it's uh, exciting, and we're looking to, we don't really have um, a place where we're releasing it at. We're looking to take it on the road and doing some film festivals. So that's oh, yeah. the general that's idea. Right. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. always. Yeah. Brendan, do you have any social media? Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can just go to uh, my Facebook page. That's my primary uh, use um, that I use on social media. Um, just Brendan Patrick, B R E N D A A. Patrick is insane. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for, uh, thanks for thank having us. Thank you so much for having us on. It. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate this. Thank, thank you. you. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And Dr. we'll see you next week. Doctor. 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 Do